Dave 10. And it's the Rogue. And that's a South Sea Captain? Is this the Agro Rogue build? Huh. I've been seeing actually quite a bit of this lately. Muzzy Rogue. Yeah, Muzzy. Um, I, I think he went something like 24 and, and 4 uh, on in, in High Legend with it. If anybody would know Muzzy Rogue... It would be the three of Muzzy's teammates. And Van Cleef is in hand. And they got the coin. Whoa, pack it up, boys. Look at the smile on RDU's face. He's just like, barely contain himself. My gosh, this is insane. Yeah, that is. So here's the question. Do you go for the Swashburglar and try to get the Innervate? <laughs> or do you go for the small type Buccaneer? I mean, either way, on three, you just play a one drop now. Dagger on two, on three, you one drop coin Edwin. That's definitely a good setup. I'm just curious of what their options are for potentially stronger setups. I don't think it matters much what G2 does. Just pass, one. dagger on turn two. Oh, that's awful. Pass on three, and then double one coin. I don't know, but let's go ahead and listen to Luminosity and see how sad they are that small, bu small time Buccaneer patches is turn one. About coining for one. Van Cleef comes to mind. Can't really do anything about Van Cleef. I think us losing comes to mind. Nah. Uh, that, that's yeah, we're on plan here. So we just need a living roof off the top. Oh, that's so good. So we you dagger would... here, right? Just dagger. I think is more damage. It is more damage. I mean. More damage than the yeah, yeah, like, yeah, let's do. Mm -hmm. And I will take the dagger. Yeah, we don't take the dagger. Yeah, no, it's like, just take it off. Also, this deck runs now for Ser, so we we are incentivized to keep the weapon a bit more than the other decks, so. Okay. okay. Just, you can just kill it on board, right? Yeah, like, that's, that's better than swiping, right? I like brand one. Brand Jade Idol, yeah, I, I like it a little more now that we got the idol. Yeah. He didn't swing, which means he has a play most of the time. What? Also, I mean, I, I, I guess you just... comes to mind. Yeah. We're not saving this JDL for gadget. That's just not a thing that's going to happen. No, 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 not at all. One. So, brand Jade Idol. Hmm. Makes sense. All right. You can hear just how somber the tone is for uh, Luminosity <laughs> as they see the opening in this match. Sp spirits are low and rightfully so. Uh, when G2 is queuing up the aggro rogue build instead of Miracle, it it's even that much worse mm -hmm. for Luminosity. And, and you kind of see where the aggro builds are really fitting in. Luminosity tried to take out the aggro builds from G2, and the rogue was a pocket pick for that. Holding it back was just a strong play anyway. Then having this be the, uh, the way it plays, it just, Luminosity has no hope. Yeah, I mean, I mean, look at this turn. Yeah, they're, they're debating on if they get punished too hard mm. by going for a huge Edwin by something like Mulch. Uh, or I guess Swipe Living Roots doesn't really punish them that much. So yeah, actually just Mulch. They're, they're thinking about whether or not they want to get punished by just Mulch. And I, I think the answer is yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, look how much gas you've still left in the tank. If that's the case, let's hear Luminosity as Disaster Strikes. Six, oh, six. It's an 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, we bump, play two mulches. <clears throat> bump swipe, right? Next turn, Pandora Rapids. That'd yeah. Cool. So we just set up. I mean, we're only taking The other play... The other play is Wrath and go for the one, the two and twenty-three. That beats Conceal as well. Both of these lose to Tomb Pillager. Don't Tomb Pillager's not a card then. So we swipe, right. bump. We take up twelve. Fandral Wrath. <laughs> we're at nine. We take twelve, dude. I mean, I guess then we have a Fandral. We can draw Feral Rage. Hmm. So, 
if we go... I mean, we can beat Tomb Pillager if we go swipe. Actually, not really. But... No. No, we lose every time. So what do you guys one. think? Raptor 1? I, I like swipe I trip. I, I like swipe You guys say swipe. swipe. Yeah. Okay. Hmm? Double swipe is a little annoying. No, they're nearly dead. I mean, uh, what can we do here? What's the best? Mark like a side, I think, is the play. Uh, then, I... then some, if we play a side, we, if they have a second side, but I think they have, then we have a minion alive. Yeah, yeah. That's why yeah, I like last time. So, Borgler like first and see what we get. Yeah, let's go. Aha! Ooh, if this, we would have mana ah, for that. It's not good. <laughs> uh, we don't attack with the weapon, right? This guy's no, 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 no. He might, he might. Let's see. I think we uh, do. Oh no, maybe we don't. I'm so thinking of like we can draw a card and then we Nine. play that with deck end with cold blood. Um, then. I like I like not to attack. I like I, I mean yeah. I, I yeah, we kill them anyways. We, we have lethal. Anyways. Like we have lethal on board if they swipe. Like we win if they swipe. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And we don't have if they have swipe living roots. We don't have lethal. No, what? Do we have lethal otherwise? No, we don't have them. No, no, it's fine. Don't attack. It's good. Yeah, I don't, don't like to attack here. Because we can just draw a card for three mana or less. Yeah, it's pretty perfect. And draw Wrath. Mm-hmm. They didn't set up the lethal because they have a different lethal in hand. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't work. I think we have to Wrath. No, it still works. Swipe. No, you... Uh, you... Uh... Oh, um, I was gonna say you Fandle Wrath, Innervate, Innervate, Feral Raid. Oh, no, 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 this doesn't work. No, we can't. We, we have to wrap into swipe. Into swipe. Yeah. Alright. Alright. There we go! Yeah, that was just a normal road, though. <laughs> so, David yeah. probably is not proud of the interview, so we just talk later after the interview, guys, yeah? Huh? Yeah, yeah we can. Well? That was uh, just about as we expected, the Druid versus Rogue. It's a little bit of a different Rogue as we saw in the Mulligans, but we didn't really get to see the full extent. We heard Dread Corsair being mentioned. We saw the South Sea Captain. Naga Corsair was what was mentioned. Oh, Naga Corsair yeah. was what was mentioned. My fault. That's probably in place of Tomb Pillager, because Tomb Pillager just doesn't do anything in that build. There's no use for the coin. Mm -hmm. Naga Corsair, though, can provide you two extra damage. It's a pirate. It's also 5-4. has synergy with Captain. Pirates that are good. <laughs> yeah. Tons Give pirates a flame if and uh, they're pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know, but that's going to be uh, G two taking the series six to four over Luminosity. Despite Luminosity, seem like uh, you know they were getting you know pretty owned early on uh, to use the two. Uh, what do you call the two thousands? I don't know. Owned was used a lot more then. The zero zeros, you know, it's the nineties. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. But we do have an interview ready with one of the winning players from G2. Uh, it's already you. Hey, man, can you hear us? Hello, hello. What's up? Hey, uh, so you guys uh, had a pretty good match today against Luminosity. Uh, talk me through how you guys felt going into this match, considering you guys were so close in the standings. Yeah, we were very confident against them. Uh, we knew that they were going to like uh, leave Rogue open, so we tried to like surprise them with Pirate Rogue. It wasn't that important because like any rogue would beat Druid, but it could have been important if they killed Tempo Mage into Rogue, or like if they brought Tempo Mage to beat Rogue, us having a different rogue was like important. So like, yeah, we, we got them pretty well. You guys uh, have seen the Tempo Mage now from Luminosity a few weeks uh, in a row if you watch their matches. What do you think of their choice to keep bringing Tempo Mage? I think it's a pretty powerful deck, but uh, I'm not sure how great it is in the um trinity series format with two bands it's probably like an okay deck but uh you know mage is also like a very strong deck with two bands so it depends on the strategy like we left shaman open so then we had to like bring reno mage unless you wanted to play like a tempo mage with two flame strikes but uh yeah we, we don't know like um it might be a good strategy we didn't look into it that much but uh we might in the next weeks and maybe we can bring it to we'll see i don't know I want to talk about the uh, Pirate Rogue build a little bit. It seems to be that's the next evolution of where the aggro decks are headed. How did you guys find this build, and what has been your experience with it so far? Um, it's one of my preliminary decks, and I managed to convince them to like uh, let me play it. And uh, if people want the list, they can check my Twitter in like 10 minutes, and I'll post it there. 
Well, it seemed to work out for you guys. I mean, I think you won by like turn six or something like that. It probably looked like regular Rogue to them because of the cards you played, but uh, uh, it still uh, had some success. Uh, last question for you guys. You guys seem to have some of the cleanest communication out of all the teams in the Trinity series. Do you plan going into your matches how communication is going to work? Talk to me about why uh, yours appears to be the cleanest. Yeah, like we talked beforehand to like only talk in the situations where we know uh, the the matchup really well, or if we know the matchup a bit and we know we see like a play that we don't under we don't um, like from the play that he's doing, it we try to like uh, tell him. Like for example, I don't talk that much when they are playing Reno Mage unless they want to do something that is like uh, very obnoxious in my eyes, which almost never happens because they play Reno Mage way better than I do. And uh, when I play the Rogue or like the Agro decks, they will not talk that much. So like we only talk if we can help the player talking uh, the, the player playing because we are all like really great players and we can uh, handle alone or like with uh, just some advice we don't want to like uh, disturb each other too much well it's definitely working out for you guys you have a solid hold on second place now so congrats on your win